Christmas countdown. So what better way to start December than creating your own Christmas countdown where we can write in how many sleeps we've got till the big day. So this project contains two different parts. So we've got the female part, which is the main body of the Christmas countdown. We've got VCAF text telling us sleeps till Christmas. Uh, underneath this black chalkboard that you can see here, we've got a female pocket inlay, and that's there for us to cut this black piece separately where we're going to use the male inlay tool to cut this out so that we can then slot this into the main calendar itself just so it's sticking out a little bit purely from a real nice aesthetic point of view. We're going to paint this up using chalk paint to create the chalkboard effect so that then we can then write on how many days we've got left till Christmas Day. So let's take a look at the project files. Okay, so the Christmas countdown project consists of two CRV files. So let's open an existing file. So we've got the Christmas countdown chalkboard and we have the Christmas countdown. So we'll open the countdown to begin with. And I'm working with eight by nine by one and a quarter inch material. You can see I've got my vector set up here. So this vector represents uh, the shape that I want to pocket into. So this is going to be the female pocket in there here. Uh, we've got some text that we're going to v-carve on. We've got a simple rectangle that represents our cutout. So let's switch over to the toolpaths tab. And so we'll take a look at the pocket inlay. So I'm just going to double click on that. Okay, so you can see we're using this vector here. We're creating the female inlay, so that's going to be the pocket, and that's going to be cut down by a quarter of an inch. Okay, we're going to use a quarter inch end mill, and it's important that I remember the tool that I use to cut this inlay because I need to use the exact same tool when I come to cut the male insert part uh, for the actual chalkboard itself. Okay, so quarter inch end mill, just going to do a basic offset uh, strategy and then if we just go ahead and preview that toolpath we can take a look at that. So you can see we're cutting down a quarter of an inch, we've got a nice slot there ready for us to insert the male part that's going to sit in here but it's going to stick out a little bit just for a more uh, visual pleasing effect. Okay, so that's that one. So we'll just tile our windows and we'll just close out of the preview there. Now we're going to go into the VCAV toolpath. So we've got this text. We're going to use a 90 degree half inch V bit. Uh, very basic here. And if we just go ahead and preview that toolpath, you can see it's done that there for us. Very nice. So we'll put that back in Z there. Final toolpath is a basic profile cutout toolpath using this vector. So if we double click on that, you can see we're cutting down all the way through our material using a quarter inch end mill on the outside. We've added tabs to the toolpath just to hold my part securely in place. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we're just going to close out and we'll preview this toolpath to see how that looks. And that is our Christmas countdown, the female part. Now when you come to cut this project, what you want to do is cut the male part first. And the reason for that is we're going to cut this part out of a different material. And having that cut out first just means that when we come to cut this file, we can test the fit of the male part when we insert it into this pocket to ensure it fits nice and snug. If we find that we're having problems with the fit, then we can alter the actual inlay itself by altering uh, the pocket allowance. So we can apply a negative allowance until we have a nice snug fit where the chalkboard piece fits into this female pocket. So let's open up the uh, male part of our project. So this is the Christmas countdown chalkboard file. 
So looking at my job dimensions, you can see I'm working with 6x5 and my depth is uh, much smaller, it's at 0.35 here, so I'm just working with uh, some simple MDF material. Uh, if we go over to the toolpaths tab, you can see I've just got one toolpath here, so I'm using the exact same vector that we used from the main Christmas countdown project. So this one here, we're just taking that uh, into a standalone file, but this time we're going to create the mail inlay. So this is the part that we're going to insert into the pocket of our calendar. So using the inlay tool, chosen to create the mail inlay and here we're just going to cut all the way through remembering to use that quarter inch end mill. Must make sure that it's the same tool that we use uh, for the female version. Okay, so we've got the same tool there, add tabs just to hold that part in place, uh, then go ahead, calculate it, we can preview it, see how that looks and that's how my part would look. So then I'd take this off the machine and then would go to cut the other file, this one here, when we get to the pocket part, so the female pocket, we just want to take the male part, test the fit uh, so that it fits nice and snug in here and if it doesn't then you can just increase your negative allowance until it fits nice and snug in there and that's all there is to it. Okay, so we've got our female part of our calendar. Okay, so we've got the female pocket inlay in there, and then we have our male part. So you've seen earlier in the video uh, that we managed to alter the allowance that the male part can fit nice into the female inlay of our Christmas calendar. So the idea here is we're going to paint this up in a chalk paint. Okay, so I've got my chalk paint here and we're going to basically paint that up and then we're going to slot that into our Christmas calendar so then we can write down how many sleeps it is till Christmas. is dry we can glue up the bottom side ready to insert it into our female pocket inlay on our Christmas calendar sign so let's get to it So here is the finished Christmas countdown, all painted up, all glued into the female part of our Christmas countdown block. 
So all that we need to do now is write down how many sleeps we've got left till Christmas. So perfect gift for your kids, for grandkids, for big kids like me. And if you're wanting to create your own version of this Christmas countdown, then all you have to do is go to the Vectric website and you can download the project file from there. If you are going to download the project file and cut your own version of this, it'll be great for you to share that with us using the hashtag Vectric Free Christmas so we can see your versions of the free projects that we've made. So all I need to do now is write down how many sleeps we've got left. 